guys, welcome to the first video on Nutanix Enterprise Cloud Platform. So in this video, we will explore the Nutanix Prism GUI. We will find out the information about the VMs, the hosts on the home dash dashboard. We will see how to rename the cluster and we will see different other things in uh, getting the overview of Nutanix. So let's get started and log in using the admin credentials. As I said guys, uh, this is a community edition. So it will take you to do certain uh, things in the beginning and it will log into the dashboard. This is going to be a time taking process because this is installed on a server on my laptop which is running on a very uh, low uh, memory and hard drive. So let's get started. See, we can see the cluster name is Sandeep and we can see the home page and if you drop down we can see the health of the entire Nutanix uh, Enterprise Cloud Platform. We can see the virtual machines, the storage, the hardware which is inbuilt, and the file server, the data protection. Analysis is a very good option here where we can conduct different types of analysis on the storage, on the virtualization concept, on the computing, and on the file servers. We can conduct analysis and advanced reporting to check if um, everything is going according to the benchmark. We have alerts and tasks that we need to configure. So this is a simple dashboard of uh, the Nutanix and we have a cluster and this is the admin tab where you can do a lot of other things like you can download the commandlets installer which is uh, pretty easy and you can download the Prism Central. Let, let us show what is Prism Central and how you to download it. Prism Central is an application that will be installed on your laptop and will access your uh, Nutanix cluster through its host name or the IP address. So if you have a number of Nutanix nodes built in your data center, you can access them all using the Prism software. I have a problem with my internet. I'm sorry about that. So. You can update your password here. You can update your profile. So this is not much in the administration tab. So if you go to the settings tab, the small wrench icon here, there comes the ton of activities that you can do on Nutanix node. So the first thing is the cluster details. So we have a cluster name. If you want, you can change the name. And you have the cluster incarnation ID, the cluster IDs, and the cluster unique ID. These are unique, and when you raise a support ticket with Nutanix, these IDs are very helpful in order to uh, drill down deep into the Nutanix uh, infrastructure and to know where and to pinpoint where the problem is coming from. So I'm going to change the name of the cluster. So the cluster name has been updated. So the second thing we are going to do is uh, we are going to find some information about the virtual machines and the hosts on the home, home dashboard. So in order to do that, we need to pull up the di node diagram in Prism on the hardware page. So let's go to the hardware page. So you can see we have one disk, which is SSD. And we have one uh, host which is monitored. And the number of virtual machines, you cannot see it here. But we have 9.97 uh, gigahertz of total CPU and 15.51 GB of total RAM. This is not GB, this is gigabytes, which is the industry standard of counting the memory. So when you expand the cluster, it's loading the details. And if some uh, project manager or someone asks you the details, you can give the host name uh, as this, the IP is this, and the hypervisor which is used is Acropolis hypervisor, 
and you can give all the metrics that are displayed on the screen. So we explored the hardware tab and we saw the uh, amount of uh, SSD, uh, we uh, examined how much CPU is there and how much memory is there on the node. So we will identify, we will go to the home page again and we can see the summary of the virtual machine that is running. We have one virtual machine that is on and if you want to drill down deep into the virtual machine, you need to go to the VM tab. When you click on create virtual machine, you can actually name a new virtual machine. You can add a disk, you can add the uh, NIC cards and you can create the virtual machine. We will explore the health tab here. So we can see how many events are being for the VMs, the host, disk and the cluster. This is according to the priority. We have This is according to the priority. Red is uh, high, this is moderate, and this is uh, an event which can be acknowledged. We can see the memory, the reserved memory, the disk status, the health of that particular virtual machine. So, in this video, we learned about uh, to check different tabs which are very helpful uh, in order to monitor the health, in order to check the host status, what are the resources that have been configured for this particular node and we have checked a lot of other things. We have checked the administration and we have seen how to rename the cluster. So let us go to the, the tab once to show you how to manage I will share the details of creating the cluster in the next video. You can do your SNMP, SMTP server settings, NTP server setting, all these settings you can do it here. And if you are using the Prism Central, you need to register the Prism Central um, to, to the particular Nutanix node. So that is very important, otherwise you will not be able to pull up the details. So management servers, you can do the pulse system and you have the remote support and you have the alert email configuration where you can set your email alerts. You can get your health tutorial here, help with this page and you can get the general help in order to learn the product um, to an extended level. You can do the user management, role mapping and the authentication levels here. So nothing much for this topic here. So in the next video, we are going to talk about how to create a container, learn how Nutanix system manages storage through containers and storage pool. There is no concept of LUNs in Nutanix hyperconverged infrastructure. So we will do this uh, in the next video. We will create the container and we will create a container and see to uh, set to a default storage pool and we can easily create additional ones as required. So we will do that in the next uh, video, which is going to be a short video. So. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope this video is informative to you. And if you want to drill down deep into Nutanix, I would say you can install a community version on AWS, which is going to cost you 
very less like uh, something like five dollars an hour and you can test the product within like two three hours you'll make sure the product is you, you are familiar with the product i hope this information is uh, worth and uh, thank you very much for watching the video and stay tuned for the next video on how to create the container thank you